Well hey there guys, I'm Axel the Beast and this is the Curiosity Shop, the Zelda Dungeon video mailbag where I answer your Zelda questions. Uh, slightly different uh, camera angle, just slightly, tell me if you like it or if you even noticed. Uh, our first question is from Zoron. What girl do you like best with Link? Uh, this is the amusing shipping stuff that you always see, relationship stuff. Um, this is one of the ones where you guys should tell me what you guys think in the comments, your answer to the question. but. Um, to be honest, I have actually always been kind of anti-Link X Zelda. I've never liked that pairing, and I don't even know why. I just... it just never appealed to me. And also, I'm one of those crazies who still thinks it's possible that they could have been siblings in Ocarina of Time, at least. So, I mean, not that I necessarily think it is true anymore, but I still think it is vaguely possible. Uh, I think my favorite pairings are probably like um, Link X Malon or uh, Ilya X Link. Or uh, even Midna, because I thought that was actually sort of an interesting um, relationship they had, and it would have been interesting if there was more on it. Um, but I think my favorite is uh, Marin and Link, because Marin is basically my favorite female character in the entire series, pretty much. Um, Fierce Midna 333 asks, In your opinion, what would be the biggest disappointment to see in Skyward Sword? Something from a past game you didn't like or a rumor you heard that you would not like to see? Um, probably most of all it would be the difficulty stuff. I mean, I really want this game to pose a challenge, and if it doesn't, I'd be pretty disappointed. Um, I also want, I hope that it's not going to be just like Twilight Princess, and that it's actually going to be an original game. It's going to have originality. It's going to innovate. And it seems like it's doing that. So, I'm not too worried about Skyward Sword, to be honest. I actually have pretty high hopes, and it's shaping up to be something I like, in my opinion. But, um, I mean, I don't know if I can think of any rumors that bug me, but those are things that I wouldn't like to see. Um, uh, Feral asks, what, with Skyward Sword's unimpressive graphics and non-revolutionary formula, do you think the game has a chance of being as good as Twilight Princess? Um, the graphics, they've said they're going to improve them. Those aren't final game graphics, so that will at least get better. As for the non-revolutionary stuff, I think the sword control... Is, I think the fact that they're banking on the way the game is played to make it more familiar mixed with the fact that they're having new things like the Wii Motion Plus controls, I think is actually a perfect combination, and I think this game will be better than Twilight Princess, and be more unique than Twilight Princess. However, um, I actually just kind of like it that they're playing off what we've seen, but adding in Wii Motion Plus stuff, and uh, like doing what they said they were going to make the game more streamlined. I love that, and I think the way they're doing that is good, and the way, you know, rolling bombs, being able to run, uh, use potions in the middle of the battle, the new item select. I think they're polishing what was strong and adding new things to strengthen what they had. I think it's pretty good, uh, but that's just me. Uh, Ivan Babek asks, What do you think of Skyward Sword taking place between Ocarina of Time and the Wind Waker? When Link travels back to the past at the end of Ocarina of Time, he took the Master Sword with him, so there can't be a Master Sword in the adult timeline. But in Wind Waker, there is a Master Sword. Skyward Sword could explain where a new Master Sword came from. Uh, I don't think it's between the two games. In fact, it's confirmed to be a prequel to Ocarina of Time. And I actually po posted an article, uh, Skyward Sword, The Legends of Old Hyrule, or something like that, in which I descri describe why I think it has to be, like, centuries before Ocarina of Time, not even just a little bit. Um, the thing about in Ocarina of Time, yes, he took the Master Sword with him when he went back, but he still put it in the Temple of Time, hence it would still stay there for the adult timeline. You know, actually, then you got the point where the it's actually like alternate universes, so that's interesting. But I still I think that strengthens my initial thoughts um, about that they never intended the timeline split when they made Ocarina of Time. It was supposed to still go together in one timeline. That's interesting. I didn't think of that. You just made me think of that. Uh, Brian asks, with the revealing of a possible timeline, do you think it is possible that that it was just mistranslated? The part that throws me off is when Aonuma states that him, Miyamoto, and the director of the game have access to the Master Timeline. Does this mean Skyward Sword or a past game the director has access to? Or is it possible that Aonuma is talking about the Master Timeline for Skyward Sword? Uh, there's no Master Timeline for Skyward Sword unless you're talking about the in-game events. He has to be talking about the timeline connecting the games, I think. That's definite. Um, 
I don't believe it was mistranslated. I'm pretty sure that they actually meant that they have a master document or whatever. But I think that's sort of superficial considering they basically said it's top secret. They're not going to release it. So that doesn't change anything because we're still back where we started. They're not telling us where, how they connect. We're left to figure out on our own and they probably want it that way to generate interest. Um, so that's all I have to say. I actually sort of rolled my eyes when I heard that news, mainly because I don't really care about the timeline so much, at least the big picture kind of stuff, and um, I re recognize right off the bat, this doesn't change anything. I almost think it's a bit of an irrelevant piece of news. I mean, I'm, I can be pretty stuck up on the timeline. I actually, as soon as I heard, I went on Skype, you know, the instant messenger, and I just complained about the news, and everyone was arguing against me, because I think I was acting a bit of an, like, a bit like an idiot, but I, I get annoyed about the timeline, and I think it's, uh, I think that that news is a bit silly, and they're just trying to tease us, really. That's just how I feel. Um, just that they have the timeline, it doesn't mean anything. Uh, Kamali asks, do the Ordona province, does the Ordon province belong to Hyrule or not? It's on the Hyrule map, but according to some people in the game, Ordona, Ordon isn't in Hyrule. Ordona isn't in Hyrule. Excuse me, that was weird. Um, I've been thinking it might belong to Termina because it's on the other side of the woods from Hyrule, as it is shown in Majora's Mask. Um, the thing is, is that the map in the game isn't, I mean, I don't know if it refers to it as Hyrule map or not. It's just the game map. I don't think you should put too much stock into that. Um, also, it cannot be Termina because Termina is confirmed fact, it's stated, to be an alternate dimension. It's an alternate version of Hyrule. That thing where they have the, they reuse the character models and stuff, that's not just a coincidence because they were reusing game elements. That's actually a fact that it's an, it's alternate versions of them, or at least most of them. Um, Ordona, they say that it's, um, someone says it's not part of Hyrule proper, and that they actually go and trade with Hyrule Castle, and they were making a peace offering, or I don't know what to call it, peace offering, or it was just some kind of offering or gesture of goodwill to Hyrule Castle at the beginning of the game. That's why Link was leaving the village. I think it kind of shows that it wasn't part of Hyrule, but is deeply connected, perhaps an owned territory, as someone suggested, to Hyrule owns Ordona. Or just like like bordering little province, not even a whole nation, you know. I think it is detached from Hyrule, but we can't know how detached. Um, XX Tiger Snake XX asks, "Do you think that Majora is stronger than Ganon? Why or why not?" I do, but mainly because I believe in the theory that Majora is actually some kind of demon or demonic entity. I believe I've covered this a little bit in my previous videos. Why I think that. So basically, because of that, he's this big demon creature. I think that he's stronger than Ganon, who, despite being referred to as the Demon King in the old games, is pretty much just a human with some godly power. Uh, a demon is like an antithesis to a god, or depending on, or if you're the devil, it's the antithesis to a god. So I think it could have equal power to a god, or close to, more so than someone who just got a god's power. That's just my opinion, um, and that's based on an unproven theory, so I don't want to make it sound too serious, you know, it's just... It's my belief, and I believe it's solid, but it's not proven. Uh, Firelord8803 asks, Do you think the Big Oron Sword should be back in the series? Also, do you want the Big Oron Sword back? I liked the sword because it's a big freaking sword, you know. <laughs> but, um... My fascination with it pretty much ends there. I don't feel it's important. What I really liked was that they had the uh, the trade sequence, you know, you take this whatever thing to my son, and then he tells you to take it back, you know. Um, I think that the whole trade sequence thing was a really deep, interesting thing for the game, and I think uh, seeing that again with a cool item or cool equipment or even elaborate on a whole subsystem of the game would be great. I'd love to see you again. Adds lots of depth. Uh, Mental Teen asks, What did you think of using a bottle to bounce back Ganondorf's attacks in Ocarina of Time? How might this relate to how strong Ganondorf really is? Funny, but I think it's largely irrelevant since I think it was just a bug. It was an item that had the same swinging motion as the sword and likely followed the same programming rules, hence why that happened, I think. I don't think there's any relevance to plot or canon. It was just a game programming thing, that's all. Funny, though, and it's always a good for a gag. Playing tennis with a bottle. Um, Austin asks, how much do you think the graphics will change in the 3DS remake of Ocarina of Time? 
Well, they've shown us screenshots, and while they might be like early drafts, like with Skyward Sword, I think they're probably pretty accurate. They look sort of like Twilight Princess quality, but with Ocarina of Time's brighter style. Which, contrary to popular belief, it was brighter than Twilight Princess. So, yeah, that's all I can say. Um, last question, Funky Robot asks, Do you think that the Ocarina of Time remake will give us some new insight, new information about Hyrule, or possibly new timeline info? They wouldn't just keep all the same text and characters, I'm sure. They'll add something new. I'm sure they will too. I'm definitely sure that they'll. I think they'll change the text. They'll ch they'll add some new characters, change a little bit about the characters, maybe add in some more familiar guys from later games. But I think we're largely going to see the same stuff, especially timeline-wise. I don't expect much more elaboration, except maybe clearing up some originally intended connections. Since Ocarina of Time, I don't believe was supposed to originally have the split. They might strengthen the split, but that's it. Uh, that's it for this time, guys. Be sure to send your questions to the email address in the description, and later.